Hello, my Taurus friends. It's early, guys, so I am not moving very fast at all. <clears throat> this is going to be something new that I am doing, and these are going to be your daily readings. Um, they're not going to be one day. They're going to be for two days, actually. I'm going to say the, <clears throat> let's see, the 20th through the 21st. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I got all these cards that jumped out. <clears throat> and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top two that I saw, put those over there, turning my head, and putting the other ones back. Let's see if they come out. My Taurus friends, let's see what else we've got here. What's going on for Taurus? You know, first out, Taurus, I just feel like there's something that um, has really been bothering you. There's something that's really been bothering you. And um, I feel like it was something that you were avoiding. Um, because sometimes, like, with the Page of Swords and Death, it's like there's something that you were avoiding that you're being forced to look at now. You're being forced to address now. Like, there, you know, you can't put it off any longer. It's like you just can't. Because you feel like, you know what, um, you know, this is not doing me any good. I'm not feeling well. Um, something's got to change is, is what I'm getting from you. Something's got to give. Now, it could be an air sign that you're dealing with, but I don't think so. I, you know, for some of you, maybe. But I feel like this is just more of you just feeling kind of fed up, just thinking about things that, um, you know, that you needed to change or that you felt like, you know what, this is too much for me. It's like you've been thinking about this for a while, and then, like, there, you can't avoid it any longer. So there's something that you are putting an end to and doing this shift like you know once you put an end to it things are going to change is is what i'm feeling um could be dealing with an air sign scorpio um even okay so i feel like you know with the ten of pentacles here there's a need to make a change in yourself. Maybe before you were doing a lot of self-sacrificing. Maybe before you were giving to situations and people that did not deserve your focus and attention is what I'm feeling here. Because your confidence your confidence level was not where it should have been. So there's a need for you to get this Ten of Pentacles, I mean, Nine of Pentacles here, and that, you know, to feel good about yourself, to know that you are worthy, to know that you deserve to be heard, you deserve to be loved. And guess what? If there's nobody that's, you know, giving that to you, then I'm sorry. I got this thing around my neck and my phone is buzzing over there. Let me take this off. <clears throat> Hang on, guys. I don't know why it's keep, it keeps ringing, but anyway. Um, yeah, so if you don't find anybody or if you don't encounter anybody that you know, feel, feels like it's worthy of your time, it's worthy of your energy, then you're good by yourself. You're good by yourself, okay? So, and this is Virgo energy, okay? Does not have to be. Does not have to be. But I'm just telling you what I see present, okay? Now, I get the impression that 
there is a strong lack of confidence in here. But I don't think that's what you project to the world. I feel like people think that you just have it going on and you probably do present well. But on the inside, you know, you have really been thinking like, you know, this is not working for me. This is not working for me. You know, I'm ready to be who I really and truly am inside and out. Inside and out is what I feel. Okay, Queen of Swords here, speaking the truth, cutting out bull crap, cutting out bull crap. So, you know, this is this is a card that's in the middle. Um, so I get the impression that it could be a couple of people that is involved in your scenario. And one of them could very well be a child. Okay. Um, and an ex here. Or an ex and their child. Does not have to be your child. But it feels like there is a child involved. A child that's very attached to the parent. Okay. Somebody that probably, you know, influenced how your relationship went, okay? So, if this is not a person, this is you just kind of defending, you know, your stance from here on out. You know, and, and not saying that you have to verbally state to somebody, this is, this is what I'm going to do. No, this is you, you know just kind of deciding in your own head that I'm not going to let anybody interfere with what I got going on, how I feel about myself, how I move in certain situations. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to stand in my own truth. And if they like it, they like it. But if they don't, guess what? Oh, well, that kind of attitude. Okay. Now, this could be somebody else entering into your life or trying to come in, wanting to come in, um, has deep feelings for you, has deep feelings for you, um, probably just don't know how to approach you because this is a page and you're showing up here as a queen of swords for some of you. So they're probably a little intimidated, okay? This could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy because we see Scorpio here. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys for the 20 to the 21st, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.